Hello everyone, my name is Rumat and today I'm going to show you a game in Diamond 5 where I'm going to Leah Jungle. I'm going to speed it up just for the important moments, the game is only 15 minutes but I think it's a real educative example, I don't know if that's a good word. Now, I'm going to fast forward a bit here, even if he deaths, I don't really understand what he did there. Uh, only, yeah, two players used, used Flash. I noticed they used flash and then I will gang bot in as you will see. Now, Talia has been heavily nerfed and I do not recommend to play her at all anywhere right now, but as I'm an OTP and this is the only thing I can play at, I don't know, higher level than Diamond probably, on, not on West, on West I'm probably uh, somewhere at Diamond 3, this is the only thing that I can do. So, uh, I queue as mid jungle and usually I want mid where I can play other champions but in jungle or in top lane only Talia comes to mind. Now as a Talia player you would want Dark Harvest, you'd want uh, either Poro or the other rune for uh, wording, I do not play with it uh, although I should, I should watch some, I should watch some players. And uh, for secondaries obviously the water walking and uh, absolute focus because the other runes are pretty much garbage compared to those for Talia. Now here I see them fighting, the first thing I want to do, by the way I don't know yet that Kha'Zix stole my red there, the first thing I want to do is to gank, and I do a pretty bad gank as you can see, and she heavily baits, but even though Kha'Zix jumps, I don't, he doesn't even jump actually, he should have jumped, uh, they, they actually waste some, some spells here. Moving on, you now know the runes, you now know the... Uh, Pat, you should usually start blue, of course. Uh, here I try to poke a bit, you'll see nothing spectacular happens, I just fight for this uh, crab, I don't understand that flash of Kha'Zix, I don't understand why he came here, I don't understand why Tyro flashed either, but that doesn't matter right now, I secure the crab and move on. Now, all I know is that their Draven is 2-0, and I have a Kyle on bot and Tahoe. Kyle now is a bit of a smurfer, as I've seen from OP.GG, and uh, they just died. I did not know that before. So basically, I know my ADC is competent, even though he's not really an ADC, it's a Kyle. But uh, having no flashes for their team and having a full aggressive team home, and knowing that I'm not in an ELO that players are extremely smart, I mean, you're not in High Master or so, I can expect doing some pretty good ganks on bot lane. And as Talia got nerfed on Q, uh, you should gang way more than you should farm, because you don't have that power right now. Uh, as you can see here, I'm moving straight up bot lane. Uh, I should stop pressing tab to show the items. Here we get an easy kill, and Draven, I don't know why, he tries to clock the gold, but I have flash and he doesn't. He could have just run back, probably if I would miss W, but uh, I don't know yet. That's an hy hypothetical one. But good. We have a fed Kyle already, top lane, I expect him to lose, now this Kha'Zix is pretty random as a player, I don't know why he's here, and this game is mostly won probably because he plays subpar and probably because either out of field or I don't know, but their Irela is also smarter and she is supposed to carry, and that's why I did the level 1 gank, and they also had have a good Jax, which you will see he will not even die, but he won't do anything else either. Now Tahoe worded that Bosch there, and I still know they don't have Flash, so what you gonna do as a Talia when you have at least one CC on bot lane? Well, you're gonna camp that, and then you see that there's an Infernal, and then you think when you can take it. Now you move mid, uh, you should think at this scenario when you're really at those level 6, because if she makes 6 here, then she will probably escape or she might get a kill. Now, as you can see here, she did make 6. And we were so close to actually get the kill here. Uh, I don't know. I think Talon didn't use Ignite faster or something. We we should have got... We, we should get the kill there without him dying, okay? That was a good gank. But as you can see here, most things I'm doing is just walking with my passive and using W and uh, just trying to see the opportunities because if you gang randomly, if you gang when there is not an okay moment to gang, you might feed and you might ruin uh, some, you might ruin your lanes. 
Now I expected uh, Cartus to die, but I do not care about him at all because my win condition is either on mid where he really should not get fed, or because she's a smurfer, or on bot lane where I have a pseudo smurfer or smurfer I don't even know. Even though he plays Kyle, I don't care. Now here, Kha'Zix skips with the int. Uh, I should not do that for it's annoying. As you can see, I just do my regular patting. A good Kha'Zix would probably do more. I start to ping here like a maniac. And uh, I will get this Infernal, and I'm sorry if I talk too fast and I do this too fast or so. Now I just casually farm because I have uh, a lot of mana to spend. Then I'm going to move towards ganks again after I do a clear. And I don't even do full clears as you can see. I'm not interested even. In, I'm not interested in rights. I'm not interested in golems. I'm just interested in spam ganking because I do have a talent that's in, in a skill matchup against the strongest champion in the game, probably like Irelia. And I do have a bot lane that have a Talcum that I know, while their enemy has no flash, as you can see he won here, we can get good kills on bot lane. And Talon already wins, so that means one thing is set. Uh, moving on, moving bot, doing as much as I can bot. Now here, I actually try to find them, but I don't, so I just go for the wave. I go for the tower, easy, really easy wave here. Uh, a lot of plate gold, and this actually boosts us very fast in gold. And as you can see, the Talon and the Kyle, they have already a pretty stand, a pretty big uh, bounty. That's the term. Now you're going to see Irela pretty much giving up, and same with Leona. She will probably just run it down soon because she actually did. Here we do some fails. I never know how to predict the Draven. When he uses W because of the mood speed, so I will just do this. So basically, all I all that I did was ignore top at all because I knew he would, he could still press all his ultimate in team fights and he would be useful. And I, I didn't care much about top lane. What I did care about was winning mid, winning the tal the talon as much as I can, and winning bot. Even though Draven was 2-0 and the, he had a Leona under him. It didn't matter because they are an aggressive comp and you are supposed to camp them if you know you have a strong bot lane as well. I mean, Tarm alone as a support with any ADC already is able to do a lot. And eating Leona, that sounds wrong, just gives us a free CC and a free advantage. And when you have a support with a CC, even Alistar could work if you properly use your skills. It's easy to get kills and ganks. Now, the game is pretty much over, I just wanted to do a quick video showing you that it's not impossible to play with the Talia jungle. Now, I'm sure against experienced players the game would go more even, and uh, I would probably still not taint in most matchups, because Talia is not bad against 1 versus 1, Talia is bad against farming right now compared to, uh, what can I say, compared to how she was before, she's not S tier anymore, she's B tier or A tier max. Uh, yeah, don't ask about this. And you'll see Leona doing something on mid as well. I don't know why I'm still pressing tab, it's annoying. Here I have a little standout, standoff, whatever, with Draven. I probably could have killed him here. I just gridded out a bit. And I really did not calculate the minions. Now, as you will see, he will still stay here and Kyle will come and will get the kill. I expected him to recall and come again, but yeah, that will not happen. And moving faster, we're going to get that kill and Raven, don't ask my patting. I seen that he's still low, still on lane, and Kyle was sweet enough to just told me. You can see here my score already. Uh, the general score, only lane that didn't even lose that hard was top lane. He, you can say he lost necessarily because he still has an ult, so that's the good part about the Cartus. That's quite the annoying part, because he can help his team regardless of what he does. Now, another kill on Leona, she gave up, and we're going to push for the win, and as soon as the clock hits 15 minutes, they should surrender. Raven goes full on it, uh, I get the kill, and somewhere soon the game will end right about here. Don't worry, I will repeat everything I said in this video in about... 10 seconds, <laughs> just let the game end. Okay, 
and I'm going to stop right here because I don't want to get kicked out of this. So moving again to the beginning, you're interested in some basic stuff. Now here my red was stolen and I kinda knew I don't have it, I don't know why I pat it towards that this guy though this guy dies to the waves. Practically what you want to do first as Atelier Jungle is to actually look at your lanes to understand which lanes which lanes will have a hard time now. It could have been the scenario where Talon feeds your Aurelia and Cartus goes 0 10 but it wasn't and I'm thankful for it. I kinda expected Cartus even though he would feed. I kinda expected him to feed but I also expected him to be useful later on with his ult so I didn't bother going there. That's a thought process, not the next.